hi welcome back in this video we are going to look at the different ways to create spring boot project well you can see here these are the three you know simplest ways to create spring boot project so the first way is using spring initializer all right so first way is using spring initializer and second way is using spring starter project in spring to suit id and you can install spring plugin in eclipse id and you can get option to create a spring boot project in eclipse itself okay this is the second way and third way is using spring boot cli okay this is a command line interface which you can use to create spring based project all right so spring boot cli is a command line tool that you can use if you want to quickly develop spring application okay now let's quickly take a look into how we can create spring boot project using these three ways so the first way is using spring initializer well look at here start.spring.io so this is the you know url for spring initializer spring initializer nothing but a website which we can use to quickly create spring based application so this is the basically a standard way to create a spring boot project and okay and you can integrate this spring initializer in any id by using plugins okay just remember this is the standard way guys this is standard way to create a spring boot project using spring initializer all right so you can use this url start.spring.io to access spring initializer and you can go ahead and you can create spring boot project all right great so this is the first way and second way is using springs starter project in sts id well let me show you this this step how we can create spring boot project in spring tools id so go to spring initializer so go to spring tools id and in order to create Spring Boot project in Spring Tools Suit ID, go to File, New, and then Spring Starter Project. Okay. All right. So look at here. This is the Spring Initializer website URL. All right. So Spring Team has integrated Spring Initializer in Spring Tools Suit ID itself. All right. So if you want to use Spring Initializer, then what you need to do is there are a lot many manual steps, right? You first need to create a Spring Boot project from uh, this Spring Initializer and then you need to generate the project as a zip file and then you need to unzip it and then you need to import in IDE. So these are some manual steps and it takes some time, right? It consumes some time. So instead of doing this, Spring team has integrated Spring Initializer in Spring Toolsuit ID itself so that we can quickly go ahead and create Spring Boot project in Spring Toolsuit ID itself okay so this is the second way and the third way is using spring boot cli so spring boot cli is basically a command line tool that you can use if you want to quickly develop spring applications okay so first you need to install the spring boot cli you can install spring boot cli manually by using sdk man manager all right and you can use these commands to quickly create spring boot project using spring boot cli so these are the three you know simplest ways to create a spring boot project so going forward we'll be using first and second option to create spring boot project you can use third option to create a spring boot project but uh, you know we uh, we use these two simplest ways okay in next video what we'll do we'll create a spring boot project using spring initializer and we'll import in spring toolsuit id all right great i will see you in next video